Everyone says Facebook's dead. Do you think it is? I know it's not. Hi, I'm Emily Benson. I am a best-selling author of the Ultimate Boutique Handbook, founder of Stylish and Successful, and mobile retail pioneer with the fashion truck. I'm here doing a little fireside chat about Facebook because I truly believe that Facebook is not dead, that you need to have a business page, and that if you're not using your business page, you're missing out. So let me give you my top three tips right now on how to use Facebook. So I have so many women come to me in my groups or my clients that will say, so Emily, what's the deal between a Facebook group and a Facebook business page? Well, a few differences are huge. Yes, a Facebook group is going to notify uh, your followers in that group, but at the same time, Facebook groups are really hard to find. So unless you're constantly directing people to your Facebook group, it's very rare that you'll get any kind of organic reach from a Facebook group because a Facebook group basically doesn't talk to the rest of Facebook in the same way a Facebook business page does. Now, if you don't know what a business page is, that is what is typically referred to as a likes page, right? So maybe you've been to Apple's like page or Facebook, of course, has a like page. And this is a business page that is verified by Facebook that shows that you are a business. Now, on that page, there'll be a few things that you'll make sure, you'll wanna make sure that you fill out. You wanna make sure you have a really clear description of what your business is and what you sell. You absolutely wanna have a link to your website there. You wanna have some sort of contact information, so whether it's a phone number or an email address, a way outside of like Facebook messaging that a potential customer could contact you on. Now, if you're a brick and mortar boutique, you absolutely wanna have your address and all of your hours that you're open on your Facebook business page. I know for me, whenever I'm traveling and I'm looking for a spa or a nail salon or somewhere um, that I wanna shop, I absolutely am going on Facebook and I'm making sure that they have a Facebook business page because I wanna see what other people have said. I wanna see that they're posting new items. I wanna see that they're active. Does that make sense? A website is really hard to tell if a business is active unless you're constantly having blog posts or um, it looks very up to date, which by all means your website should also look very up to date. But Facebook is the quickest and easiest way to get customers to know that you are not only a legitimate business, but that you, you really care about your customers. Social media is so important and I think that it's underestimated in the small business world, especially for a single owned boutique owner, right? So let me give you a few tips that are gonna help you grow that organic business uh, reach. Now, I don't wanna talk about Facebook groups. Personally, I don't think Facebook groups are great. Um, also, I know that at any point, Facebook could say, hey, we're not doing groups anymore and get rid of them. Whereas business pages, I don't think are ever gonna go away based on the fact that that's how Facebook makes their money, right? They do it through Facebook advertising. Now, to be able to advertise on Facebook, you have to have a business likes page. So it makes sense, right? Facebook will help you if you help them. So the phenomenon of Facebook groups, it's sort of unclear at this point how long they're gonna last for, what Facebook is gonna change about them. Um, but for now, in uh, the end of 2016, early 2017, it does seem like Facebook groups have a place but you need a strategy for them. So I'm gonna leave that for another video. I wanna really talk about the Facebook business page because I see this as being one of the one most really biggest opportunity misses that so many boutique owners, retailers, product sellers are missing out on. Business pages are an amazing way to advertise your business. And I think the one trouble that you're probably thinking as I'm talking about this is how, Emily, 
Do I keep up? Like, what am I posting? How often am I posting? What is my strategy for my Facebook business page? So let's talk about that, okay? First of all, Facebook wants you to be posting four times a day. A lot, right? That feels like a lot. Now, I definitely know you can post two to three times, but if you're posting like once a month or even once a week, you definitely gotta step up your game, okay? Like I said, Facebook will help you if it helps it. Facebook is driven by content, and the more content that you put on Facebook, the happier it's gonna be. So the higher you'll rank in the newsfeed search, the higher, um, the more often you'll get shown to your followers, right? So give it content and it, and it will help you jump to the top. So four times a day. Now, what are you posting? Okay, good question. So if you're a boutique owner, there's a couple different things you can post, right? First and most obvious is your merchandise, okay? Your merchandise, you should be posting at least four or five times a week. That's easily five to 10 posts for you during the week. Things that come in new, maybe you flat lay styles um, and show them show them to your customers how would they wear them. Um, I love good mannequin photos. If you have photos that you've taken on a mannequin of an outfit, great, that can be up there too. The next thing you can do is inspirational quotes about fashion, about shopping, things that are fun, things that speak to your ideal customer. Now, these, uh, I would limit them. <laughs> you don't wanna go too crazy, um, and it, you don't want that to be your only post. So make sure that you're maybe doing like 20% of your posts. So I would say it's a good 50% of your posts are gonna be merchandise. 20% of your posts are going to be quotes or memes or like fun things that are just kind of lighten up your page. And then the other 30%, you want to be video. Okay, so what does that mean for video? Well, first and foremost, Facebook loves Facebook Live. If you've been in any major airport, if you've been watching TV, you will know that you've seen Facebook saying, hey, you've got something to say? Go live. The fact that Facebook is spending so much money to advertise, which they've never done before, this is unprecedented for them, the fact that Facebook is spending so much money to advertise, that means that Facebook Live should be your first form of video on Facebook. Now, I know I get on video and I do a lot of videos. <laughs> so you're probably saying to me, whatever, Emily, I don't like being on camera. I don't like looking at myself. And I'm going to say to you, get over it. Get over it. If you want to have a successful boutique, a successful business, a successful brand, you have to be the face of your business. Yeah, like really. And I have these conversations all the time with my clients because they say, Emily, you make it look so easy. And I say, you know what? It can't be that hard for you to get on and talk about something you love, right? We all started our business because there's something about it that we love. There's a reason we started it. And so even if you get on and just start talking about that, boom, you're going to make some amazing connections with your customers, future customers, clients, whoever it may be. That is a great first step in just telling your story and speaking a little bit about why you started. Then you can expand and go on and maybe you want to show some um, styled items. Maybe you want to show a tour of your store. Maybe you want to even say hi and then show people your website, how to navigate your website, how to find sale items quickly on your website, things like that. You know, any video that you can add, Facebook will prioritize. So 50% should be product as your content, 20% should be fun, inspirational stuff. And then the other 30% should be video. Facebook Live first, and then film video second. So if you're in a place where you can't do Facebook Live, or you're like me and you wanna pre-plan some content, you can absolutely batch out some videos and have them post during the week. Okay, and lastly, 
My third tip for you on how to master Facebook is really to start using a scheduler. So I know how hard it is when you're a single owned business and I know that you have a lot on your plate. So the way I like to teach my clients is to work smarter, not harder. So what does that mean for Facebook? That means you've got to use the scheduler. Now you can do this two ways. There is a scheduler function in Facebook that you can use. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. You just, when you go to post, there's going to be an option when it says publish, that blue button publish, you're going to see a drop down, a little like arrow pointing down. If you click that arrow, it's going to say schedule and you will be able to schedule your posts. Pretty great, right? So you could schedule out a whole week. I was just watching a client's page. I've been watching her, her page and I, I know she's on vacation and I'm so proud of her because I keep seeing her page posting stuff that she pre-scheduled. So she doesn't have to be there. She doesn't constantly be, have to be attached to her phone. She can pre-schedule and then she doesn't have to worry about it. So you can do that too. If you'd like to add, maybe you do have a Facebook group and a business page, or maybe you want to um, also post on your personal page, maybe you have a couple different accounts, you can use something like Buffer to help you do that. I prefer Buffer. Um, other people use something like Hootsuite, but I think Buffer is pretty easy to use, and I pay $10 a month to manage a few Facebook groups um, and my business pages. So pretty easy, 10 bucks, definitely worth the time. I usually sit for an hour at the beginning of the week, schedule things out, and then on the fly, if I want to do a Facebook Live or if I'm feeling inspired that day, I can throw up some extra stuff. So those are my tips to master Facebook and best use it to help promote your business. Please, please, please do not abandon Facebook. Do not give up on it with your first, second, third, sixth month. It takes time to grow just like anything else. So please, Work on Facebook, I guarantee you that you will see it pay dividends in terms of your reach, in terms of how many people like your page, and your sales. So thanks for joining me. I'm Emily Benson, founder of Stylish and Successful, and if you need anything, feel free to post a comment below or send me a message uh, either on, on my Facebook business page at Stylish and Successful or at my email, emily at stylishandsuccessful.com.